What's up everybody, welcome back to another Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies map. Today I've got one that is called the Two Player Tower Challenge. Uh, don't know why there's watermelons on the thumbnail there, but anyways, this one is, it's supposed to be just like a, a regular tower map, but it's apparently better played with two players. I don't know, I'm trying it solo, you know, we're going to one man army this, this map, so I'm going to check this one out. Now this is the most recent release on the Steam Workshop. Uh, some of the ones lately have not been looking very good. I mean, they probably are decent, but they're nothing exciting or interesting looking to me. So, oh look, a loading screen. Literally, loading screen. <laughs> so power. Um, quick revive because I never know how these maps play. You know, random water of death that shows up with no warning it was always fun. The idea of playing zombies solo is, you know, more difficult, and you know, sometimes you can't play with friends. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen anybody doing this. Of course, I know a lot of people don't like the. Uh, Death Machine power up being like a Wonder Walk or something, but don't really see it much. Oh, what the f okay. <laughs> Thought it wasn't openable. It's a stamina up. Not sure how much I just spent on that. Um, no gun still. Interesting. What do we got over here? Who's who and nothing? It's fifteen hundred. Uh, I see the concept of why this is two-player, but at the same time, is it really two-player, or is it just like... Okay, that's cool. Alright, I see what I need to do here now. Good old-fashioned, um, just run until the zombies leave you alone. <laughs> so I'm not sure what the two-player part is about, other than I guess one player goes up one way and another goes up the other. But conversely, would it that mean that you could do this as a four player, like two more ways in each of the corners over here? Without really anything. Alright. That nuke for points would be awesome, but very basic map with just perks and mystery box locations, but. <laughs> Absolutely no guns. A shared mystery box location. That's interesting. Well, I guess any gun would be a better than nothing. Alright, nice. I see you. Oh, that would be awesome to have. Vulture aid could come in handy. Might try it up here. Since I have a peacekeeper, this is a decent weapon. We'll see how this goes. Wait. There is a gun up here. Okay. Come on! That watermelon texture like messing with me or something. Oh, this is an actual death machine. Nice. What's that? Bonfire sale? I don't need a bonfire sale. There, there's no pack a punch yet. So, are there weapons in the world? Or did that just randomly appear somehow? No, I think that's just the only wall weapon. This is this is weird. <laughs> Alright. Enough being weird. We're gonna get some points here and see what's at the top of this tower, which Oh my god. Four more levels, sort of. Unless you call each like corner a level that was sixteen to twenty-ish more levels. Whoa! Wow, they're fast. What would have been really cool for a tower map is if each player had a tower of their own, but you were completely separated, you know, like Mufferuck style. Like, until you got to a certain point, or like you turned on power, then you would have more space to maneuver. That would be a cool concept. I know, I'm sure it's been done, but I haven't seen one personally like that. Most tower maps are, uh, one tower, pretty linear progression. You just keep going up or down the tower, opening doors like every three feet. Also, it would have been a little more challenging if it was uh, time. Time gameplay is always a challenge in and of itself. 
and with much space they give you and for being supposedly two player uh yeah i think time would have been a lot better another gun you really want this gun i know what that is and no i really do not oh no got soul filler also I should probably do that well those zombies are permanently glitched and in place, apparently. Hopefully this MTAR doesn't suck, because that custom name on the SMR kind of concerns me a little now. I'm going to try to use the MTAR, it's going to shoot blanks. Can I hit the box? I, honestly, I'd do it for the cool factor, but this map's a little challenging just due to the fact that the, uh, pretty sure I can jump off and die. You know, it'd be ironic if that SMR was actually buffed super overpowered version. Wow, that was 5,000? And it's just a mystery box location. What the? 6,000? What is that? I almost need to have a max ammo at this point. Or just, better yet, maybe probably not hold out up on top of this tower. Oh, I'm dead. Boom! I was trying to jump to a lower platform and it just zoomed me right by it. Oh well. I'm where I need to be at least. That was a... Bruh. Excuse me game? Okay. Um... Alright, we'll try that again knowing a little bit more about what's going on with the map. I can figure out what to do and not have problems like that. All right, and back. We'll try this again, now that I know a little bit more about what's going on with this map. So I guess basically what I need to do is just get up to that MTAR, more or less. Just build points running around down here on the bottom. And then open up at the end of each round until I get up to this and stuff. Pretty sure the mystery box will be in the same place. I feel like that's a, a fixed spawn point for it in the game. All right, zombies, I need to round you all up. Round you up and make some points. Oh wow, I'm surprised it actually didn't kill them all. Round three, usually that would kill them all. Oh, you know, I probably should turn that on. I'd get all the way up to these perk machines and be like, what the fuck you mean the power's not on? Uh, come on, zombies, I need you to round up so I can uh, feed you a frag grenade. You know, at least it could have put like frag grenades on the wall down here or something. Like, I didn't give you a spawn room gun, but I'll give you grenades. And now they're all runners, pretty much. Alright. Round a bunch of you up, feed you more frag grenades. I don't- I still don't see where having two players would really benefit anybody. It just gives you two paths and one of you take each one. I guess that's the idea of it. Oh, death machine. Thank you. No! Because I know what's going to happen. It's going to chain and hit the crawlers. Um. Okay. Just randomly take my gun from me. That's cool. I was trying to reload and it, it just kind of said, Nope, no wonder why for you now. Some really weird uh, design choices went into this map. <laughs> nice plain colors, but uh, absolutely very little to get you out of the spawn room. Zombie blood. Zombie blood. Oh, nice! And it's the auto refilling max ammo as well. Is that zombie slowly dying? Is that why I'm getting random 10 points? Alright, so. I just heard a gobble gun machine. Are there gobble gun machines like secretly placed in the map? Interesting. Wait, wait! Dude, that's a troll, right? It's <laughs> a freaking troll. What a troll, man. There's gobble gum too. I seen it. Where is it at? It's the most obscure place for a wonder machine. 
Don't know what I got, but I'm taking it. Oh, nice! I, I'm gonna leave it at that because I don't know if there's perk limit. Alright, I'm really questioning the design choices of this. <laughs> That Perfect Cola, or Wonder Fizz, whatever you want to call it. Is that Mule Kick? Oh, no way. Oh, that's a filler. Oh, well, the more we know now. I don't want to say I'm invincible now, but I should be pretty dang hard to kill for these zombies. I don't know if the ICU perk has been tweaked or even worked properly, but usually the uh, the version you see in most custom maps is pretty overpowered. Like your health j regen is like even more insane than the uh, upgraded quick reviving cold is. Mtar is definitely weak. And feels like the reload got slowed down on it. Where's my Perka Cola at? <laughs> Get some more random perks. Is that Vulture Aid? Yes. Figured out how to beat this map. Is that a dingo? You know, honestly, I kind of want that. I know what it is. He tried to. He added them to the map. But I don't think they're meant to be accessible. Like, you put them outside the map. Just by the orientation of everything. It's either that or it, some secret unlocks them and then that's how you get to them. But apparently he didn't put it far enough away from the wall to where you can't access them. Uh, again, I think it goes back to I'm questioning the design choices. Alright, so, whoa, a little laggy looking up that <laughs> fast. Alright, I'll round these guys up and dump the MTAR into them. Somehow that hits both of them. Come on, zombies. Come on, spawn in and follow me. Mystery. Oh, cool, it's done. Oh, what was this, a 5,000 point door? Yep. Oh, yeah, look, we're right back to point building, I think. So we got mule kick up there. Yeah, it's interesting. See, if you'd open this side, you wouldn't have access to the Wonder Fizz and stuff. If you're even meant to. Alright, zombies, round up here. We need some points. Are you the last one there, buddy? They probably are. So I have that perk already. Can we get to the bottom before they all spawn in? <laughs> Very interesting choice of uh, textures in this map. Kind of looks like cobblestone, but then you look at it real closely and say, like, "No, that, that's not cobblestone." <laughs> oh, elemental pop. Oh boy. Really overpowered now. How many more is left? He must be the last one. Uh, what gun do we have up here, though? Oh, really? An MG08 off the wall. Okay, alright. I see how we're playing. And 8,000. Dang, that perk's got some bass in its, uh, jingle. That's it, just glitch in the wall a little bit, so I don't have to worry about nothing. Honestly, that gun there's not really doing very good. Aw, uh, there's Speed Cola. It's the Cold War version of it. You guys just... Do whatever zombies do. You know, it'd be kind of cool if he implemented it where uh, if one player bought one perk or got one perk, all players got the perk. That'd be kind of cool. really doubt that's the case, but it'd be really cool. 
9,000. Ooh. I mean, having an MGO8 off the wall is actually really overpowered. I think it definitely reloads faster. Yeah, that's, that's almost like the Dean get on a uh, speed corner there. Not sure what the ending is. I mean, I'd love to have Pack Punch at this point. It's like uh, playing MW3 multiplayer right there. Just kill them all in their spawn. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if I should go back to the bottom and try to get a. Uh, try to get Speed Cola out of the Wonder Fizz. If there's a Wonder Fizz at the bottom, there's definitely not going to be one at the top. Give me Speed Cola, please. Flopper. Oh, that might help. Have an escape plan now. Dead shot? Alright. Take it. What is that? Oh, Fighter's Fizz. That's a good one. It's not going to be good here in a second if I, uh, if I die. Oh no! I don't like who's who. Don't have Max my perks out. Please. <laughs> I don't want to be stuck with crappy ones. <laughs> Alright, more perks. <laughs> Widow's Wine? Yep. So, a lot of cool and good perks in here, except who's who. I mean, that's kind of pointless, I feel like. I mean, in co op, it wouldn't be bad. I feel like the guns are not very powerful. Or, like, double taps not really working too well. Speed Cola, please? What is that? I honestly don't know what that perk is. Is that Speed Cola? Yes! Caught all the perks except... As far as I know, Mule Kick. Actually, hit the Mystery Box. See if I can get something fun looking. Boss 14. That's a gun from the um, COD 4 Remaster, I think. I don't remember, right? Open that. Oh, there's an RPD. Ooh. Another filler. And it's not filling from the window? What kind of nonsense is that? Oh, this is not like a really good RPD. Jeez. I don't realize the ammo on it. Apparently really powerful too. It must be only spawning in like these two windows or something. I'll let you guys come on out to play. Very glitched window spawns, I will say that. Find and claim your reward. Should I even test this? Please don't kill me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I knew it was going to take that. Oh, crap. Although I feel like the RPD is kind of a... the greatest weapon on the map, considering uh, 250 and 1000 and it's like some mountain zombie. Mix. I'm broke, and that is a... That's a troll. That's gotta be a troll. Kind of, I kind of want to build up enough points to open up the other side to see what weapons and stuffs are like on that side. Um, what the heck? That zombie just like phased through the wall and pushed me out of the way. All right, we'll open that one. Let me guess. Yep, thirteen. Kind of curious what that gun is, or if it actually is free. Down it. Nothing in zombies is ever truly free. Alright. What gun could be up here? Oh, yeah. It was fun. What the? What kind of gun is this? And that's just the hammer, but the ammo and everything is like way different. So there's the hip fire. That hip fire is like.
laser pointer, literal laser pointer. Oh crap. Fireworks just basically did the rest of it for me. Oh, this gun's kind of broken, I'm not gonna lie. Who needs to aim when you can just hip fire them? I'm kind of waiting for all the zombies to uh, unglitch themselves in the window down there. There they are! That's enough of that. Let's open some doors up here. Uh, oh, that's what this other perk is. I'm not even going to attempt to say it because I'm going to screw it up. You know, I really think the uh, the fact that there's a wonder tree is kind of glitched in the wall down there. It's what made this map suddenly so easy for a solo. I mean, unless it's intentional. I mean, I don't know. It kind of seems like it is. Alright. More ammo. More extremely overpriced doors. And LSAT. Yeah. Belt fat LMGs. May not be so good. That needs to kill. <gasps> oh no! That was further than I wanted it to send me. Not good. <laughs> Should have just done that in the first place. Such a weird map. There's Pocket Punch. Right and Flopper. Clear at the top, too. And apparently mystery doors as well, looks like. What the heck just hit me? That was weird. 20,000? There's a 100,000 in-game, and it's just a random number. I kinda wanna pack watch that, see what it turns into. Nostalgia Blaster. Oh, now it's got a normal hit fire. This is such a goofy map. It's not goofy then it's like funny, it's just goofy as in it's just weird. It's not like so weird to the point where it's like, dude, it's not funny, it's just dumb. It's like weird and funny, like the right level. Get it because it's a, a tower map. <laughs> I kinda wanna see if I can open up the other side, that'd be fun. Hello zombies. Well-designed map right here, people. Double points. Uh, what? Okay, I wasn't lying earlier. There's literally invisible zombies, apparently. Dude. Ah, uh, there's literally invisible zombies! Alright, please be something cool. So you can clear 20,000 and you can clear 11,000. Pack this gun. That's... I want to say, I'd pack this for you. That's an FAL, that's interesting. Is that a Barrett 50 cal? This is Golden Bolt action. Oh, uh, this is... This is a... Kind of... Look at invisible zombie! Oh, no, too far! <laughs> Let's try to get a mule kick, but uh, apparently once you start falling, you, like, you really fall. Buying a perk that didn't have an indicator. Also, max ammos, do they exist? I know it's only round 31, but I should still be getting them. This is that other gun I wanted to try. So, not free, and it's... Trash! Gun is trash. Anything fun about this one? No, it's just... It's bad. <laughs> Nothing special about this gun. No, sir. Seriously, invisible zombies again. Um... 
Oh no! <laughs> I was just shooting him and he falls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this map's broken. It's confirmed it's broken. Alright, um, RPD. I should use the ammo first, I guess. Nah, screw it, it don't matter. I'll get that 100,000 pretty easy here shortly, I'm sure. Okay, nope, I gotta get rid of that. Nope, you didn't see nothing. That's unfortunate. I was kind of hoping that'd be good upgraded, but I, I'm not going to be able to use it, really. Just for the sake of, uh, problems with YouTube, I'm not going to be using it. Okay, so, um... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let me try that pair of 50 out. The Golden Bolt Action. Why does it call it the Bolt Action? <laughs> it's fully automatic! And it's loud as heck, so that's awesome. <laughs> what kind of map is this? <laughs> it just belt zombies. I. Uh, Invisible zombie again. I think it's a widow's mind. Right? I don't like that it does shoot so fast, though. It's kind of. kind of deafening. Sounds weird. Okay. Cool, but. Pack me, pack me, pack this gun. This is a gold ball. It's 1400. Probably like a thousand. Is this just a default SVU from, like, Black Ops 2? You know what? Let's do something dumb real quick. Alright, we're gonna go down here. And start working my way up this side. I wanna see what they had over here. If it's all the same. I mean, the perks obviously ain't so... Mtar there. Oh, they get an MP5. Okay, I see how it is. And Jug. What the heck's with that? Fighters. So this side would have had the better chance of surviving. Oh, P9. AJ's P9. 1601. What is with that? Where is he at? Oh man. Uh, that's not good. It's definitely not good. Sure. Just kidding, just kidding, it's bad. All kinds of bad. Some of these guns just makes you wonder like why. You know, I'm curious if I should do a cut and edited version of this custom app since this is well into an hour and plus and a lot of down moments and a lot of good moments. Might just do that. I know a lot of people do that and I don't want to be like a lot of people, but you know what? For the sake of it, nobody will watch a like, two hour long zombies video. Alright, the, the turn zombies are, are doing all the work for me today. More invisible zombie. I, I don't know why I get invisible zombies. My gosh, it's still there! Oh, it's got a noob tube. Let's go. Very bad one at that. What the heck is this? I have speed cola that reloads like slow as molasses. So many weird things going on on this map. So literally, this gun has the slowest reload ever. With speed cola! Like, I remember in Black Ops 2, that gun was awesome because it had a nice fast reload without speed cola. And then you have this. With speed cola, it's bad. Uh, I have 
turn two rounds without reloading. Is that supposed to happen? I think this map's broken. Also, I have unlimited ammo for this guy, apparently. I think this map is beyond broken. <laughs> Dude, I have unlimited ammo. What the heck? Or is it Shara? Yeah. Uh, Invisible zombie! Please tell me it's dead. Oh, maybe I don't have unlimited ammo. I just have ridiculously high amounts for it, which is the uh, ammo counter out. Do -do 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 -do. Broken map. Oh no! We don't need drops over there. So hang on. I it, it does reload fast. It's just the animation is ultra slow. Oh, this is such a broken map. <laughs> it is so funny that it's literally so much faster than Mike than the latest weapon. Spawn camping zombies as well. I hear them over here too. I think they're just glitching out in the window really hard. Yeah, they are. Well, we need another 40,000 of them getting out of this glitchy crazy place. Let's buy ammo for this gun. Give me noob tube, that's all it does. Ha ha ha! Alright, LMG time. Not killing fast enough. Please go away, invisible zombie. Pretty sure there's another invisible zombie. Almost! I need like 300 more points, game. Come on. Alright, we got it. Let's get out of here. This, this map's a glitchy mess. We must run away. Now we fall to my doom. Sort of. Alright, well that was a fun one. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And I will catch you all in the next one.